Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Interesting news for you. As an update on Donito Donaire versus Abner Mares, in my opinion, it's going to be very difficult to make this fight, uh, considering uh, what both sides are saying. Because their stance hasn't changed. Schaefer offered some kind of a, a trade, a trade off with Lucas Matisse. Uh, and Brandon Rios, he said, yeah, yeah, we'll let you have uh, the services of Mars if you let us have the services of Brandon Rios. Bob Aaron was like, that's fucked up. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. So this is what Ray Richard Schaefer had to say. Oh, I would love to see that fight as well because I think it would be a great fight. And it's another one of those pick em fights. You have the Mexican and the Filipino. So absolutely, it's definitely a fight I would like to see. It's definitely a fight that I'd like to make. But Bob Arum's pretty clear that he has no interest whatsoever to work with us. And he was very clear uh, and on the record with that. So if you have a promoter who's absolutely not willing to work with us, then the fact is that this fight is not going to happen. I think the chances are very slim. So that's how Richard Schaefer sees it. But... Um, the truth is, according to Bob Arum, he just wants to offer a sum of money for the services of Mares. You know, he doesn't want to do a co-promotion. And I think that's what Richard Schaefer might be looking for. On the other hand, Bob Arum simply says, you know, I'll make sure Abner Mares makes well over twice than what he's made in the past. Uh, he said, we were willing to do the fight yesterday. The only basis I can do that fight is to offer Schaefer and Mares a sum of money, and we can do that fight. You see, the problem, the bigger problem, is Mares is aligned with Showtime, where Daener is aligned with HBO. Aram wants to offer Golden Boy a large sum, a fucking, you know, a big fucking offer. Uh, a big amount of money so he can bring Mares over to HBO and do a pay-per-view. The problem with that is Showtime's not going to be happy about that. So Golden Boy knows they cannot fuck that up and just take the money. So Golden Boy knows the only way they can do it is with a co-promotion. And that's exactly what Bob Arum doesn't want to do. Uh, and it's a shame because, you know, Showtime and HBO have co-promoted before. You know, the one mega heavyweight fight that we know that they did take part in a co-promotion was Tyson versus Lewis. Unfortunately, unfortunately, these little guys cannot draw that kind of money. You know, maybe, I don't know, but they, they there's still money to be made if both of these guys are a pay-per-view headliner. Um, anyways... Uh, that's basically what Aram said. Um, Golden Boy would be mentioned and so forth, but it has to be a fight that's on HBO, Aram said. After all, Nonio Donaire is fighter of the year last year only because HBO put him on four times. And to be honest about it, that guy at Showtime, Espinoza, won't even pick up the phone and talk to us about anything. So why would I entertain any thoughts of doing a Daener fight on Showtime? It's not a question of not wanting to do the fight. Let him come to me with a sum of money. What do they want? I'm happy to pay for Mara's services. Don't you think I know it's a fight that people want to see? So overall, um, the next step here is if this fight does not get materialized, Nonino Donaire will be squaring off against Guillermo Rigondeaux. And that's going to be his true test. After uh, facing somewhat light competition. I think his best two competitors he faced last year was Miguel Vasquez and Toshiashi uh, Nish Nishioka. Yeah, I, I butchered that name, but you know that's what it is. <laughs> uh, we all want to see the Rigondeaux fight too. And I think that would be great for HBO as well. So overall... I know we want to see the Mars fight, but it's really up to Daener 
Uh, and it's up to Morris to push their promoters to make this fight. Because if it doesn't happen, you know, De Niro might have a tougher test as a hungry Rigondeau coming from, uh, you know, destroying the Olympics is finally in the pros and he wants to fight the best. So that's what it is right now. It is what it is. Peace out. Take care.